Hello everybody, Dooge here, and welcome back to another version 3 Hammer tutorial. Today, I will be showing you how to make a chair prop in Hammer using the Hammer SDK. Now, you can see we've already set up this little area here where we can make the prop. You can see here, we've made a little area to put the prop. You don't have to do this exact thing, just put a sunblock, a cordon. If you watched my earlier videos, you know what a cordon is. Uh, just do, do something to put the prop in so you can see it in game and check that it's all functioning. Since we're going to be making a chair, it needs to sort of make sense in the scale of the universe, uh, match the player models in the game. So it's good to have a guy here so you can see that his knee level is at 24 units high. You need to touch the ground, so make sure that uh, your prop doesn't have a little bit of a gap towards the ground. For some odd reason, Hammer likes to create little gaps whenever you're not looking. Now we're going to take this leg of the chair and move it to the back of the chair. So we're going to copy and paste with Control c and Control v Stays in the same place horizontally as usual. Oh, wait. It's not doing that. It's at the origin of the map. Never mind, we're not going to do that. We're going to shift drag. Uh, I'm going to leave that in so that you can see that even pro mappers like I make mistakes. Just going to drag this back here. Now you can see we have a front leg and a back leg. And now we need to decide how much distance we want. If you look at the terrorist, you can see he's 26 units, you know, forward to back. So it makes sense that the two legs of the chair should also be about that same distance. As it is right now, they're a little bit too far. Going to move that back just one unit. This is pretty much going to be a square chair. As you know, we're 26 units high, 26 units back. That's completely fine. Most chairs are square. But now we're going to copy and paste these two legs and move them so that we have two left legs and two right legs, as all chairs have. Moving along with this square chair idea, we're going to make the chair 26 units wide in total. Sort of move this leg back, make it uh, precisely 26 units in total. Now that we've built this bar on the back of the chair, sort of, it's sort of like a support thing. We're going to move it up to the front, and now we kind of have the frame of our chair. But wait, it gets better. Chairs in real life have a sort of trapezoid shape. This is kind of the part of your prop making where it's good to have a lot of reference images so you know the sort of shapes and dimensions of your prop and all of that. So now we have this sort of, you know, the back end is just ever so slightly inward. And even if you can't really see it, it's one of those things where a player would notice if it was square because it looks weird rather than notice that it's a trapezoid because it looks normal. Now the last part of the chair is the backrest. You know, you need back support if you want to survive in this world. So we're just going to build it up to uh, all the way up maybe. Seems kind of good, maybe a little bit lower. Take it down to 32. And that looks good. That looks about the height of the back of the terrace. So I've realized that there's no filling on the inside of the chair. What are they going to sit on? They're going to fall through. So now I'm just vertex manipulating to uh, get it up up to shape and now we have a complete chair the whole frame the cushion all of it so I've opened up the texture menu I'm gonna search up wood and I'm gonna scroll down to the real world textures section if you want real world textures the link will be down in the description or on worldwideweb.tophatwaffle.com now this texture is an HR texture so if you want to get the full bang for your buck and make it actually high res you make sure to take that texture scale down to 0.125 on both the X and the Y now you can see the textures looking frosty. Now I'm just going to go around all the sides of the chair holding all while I'm texturing so that it's all aligned. I'm going to add one more thing because uh, this looks a little weak as it currently stands. I will take, actually, since I have this whole outline here, I can just take that and that, shift and uh, arrow key, and just drag it down. Now there's more exposed, but uh, I can just patch that up really quick. Just 
go around. Now it looks like there's no more things going on with our props. All looking good. You want to select the entire chair. The, the entire chair. Control T, make that into a funk detail. Hit apply. Now if you click it all, it's all one prop, all nice and good. Just like the ones that you can spawn in game in Valve. And we have all the lighting set up and we're just going to go in game now. Now you can see we're inside of game. We've got our chair prop here looking nice. It's taking the lighting on. Putting it on the ground there. Nice and sharp shadows. This is from the fancy live shadows of uh, CSGO's HDR. Uh, you can see it's made out of wood because that's, the, that's what the material we chose in game. This will depend on your texture and you can have multiple uh, materials for one prop. I so, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to follow me on Patreon if you want more videos like these. Stay frosty and happy mapping.